viewers still know not subscribe my channel just click subscribe button and bell button if you want future update just do that hi viewers this is one of the acer lcd monitor this is gone faulty still i will turn on but is not working so we check with that today this only this is acer v172 lcd monitor do watch full video what i am doing just if you to uh, ready to troubleshoot and carefully handle this case because the lcd possible to easy break so watch full video carefully Okay, I will remove everything now we take it the power unit board this is the power unit board this white mark below is the AC power unit after that white mark is DC power unit so we check with first any ports will burn or not we check with every port is ok or not any burning or snow is board mean will be that port will be damage so we will check with every each component is proper or not any miss align or burning improper we check with first then move for next steps i will check that every parts is nothing is no and back side also any smd is faulty smd is burning we will check with smd is SMD also is good, nothing is open. No burning pots, everything is okay. And the soldering pad also is fine, not break any soldering pads. Board also good. Okay, then we go to check each every component is working or not. I will take my multimeter and put diode test. We check that all circuit connectivity is ok or not so we check i will check first my multimeter is working or not yeah it's working beep sound will be open then check that every component first we check that input power source to circuit is proper or not ok i will take first ac power unit we will check that is ok is not is open one checks one okay this is not okay is not is open it's not oh that particular pot is be open circuit will be open that pot care fuse pot okay we'll check if that fuse is working or not first first fuse pot no this fuse pot also is not working my multimeter showing is one only uh, this is i think this is the problem sometime fuse gone faulty due to the overload 
first we check the fuse no fuse is not respond okay this is fuse gone faulty i will show fuse is working or not this is a constant one we'll check with the new fuse not working i will check no beep no beep sound on multimeter so fuse gone faulty maybe not maybe sure fuse gone faulty so we replace the fuse then we check is power came or not after that we check another one so replace the new views then circuit will be short this views is here this fuse totally fault this is 250 volt t2h amps fuse this is ceramic fuse so replace this one after that we check power is came maybe is turn on my lcd monitor otherwise need to check from the another circuits and components okay I have the spare fuse I will check this yeah, show this this fuse is working or not this is a spare fuse so this is beep sound disk came the value also came it's a value is different so beep sound is also came this fuse is another one I will replace this one for old one I will remove first old fuse then install this new fuse So this fuse gone faulty. This is ceramic fuse. This is a 250 volt, 2 FTHA, 250 volt fuse. This is gone faulty. So no, reinstall the new fuse. I will check once again the fuse is working or not. No, this is entirely dead. Fuse not connectivity. So replace the new fuse. If you connectivity proper fuse is working is not this is a open circuit so this fuse is not working so we replace the new one I will install that new fuse now first clear the soldering patch Install new fuse. I will install the new fuse and make the soldering proper. This is the old one, this is a totally fault. I will install new one and make the soldering proper. Take it my solder and make proper circuit. soldering new fuse then I will check that circuit it's shorted or open yeah now value is worth change my circuit will be short now fuse is working proper so we turn on check it that 
the work power source is working or not to show my few spot I will show you for this is beeps on the scheme this is any views ok I will now another everything is proper now we check that to reinstall properly in same way Okay, I will separate that every port then I will check that power on I will check my view spot first yeah this is power is came is it 230 it's okay power now is circuit will be short power came to in to out so now check with that every port and fix the proper then I will turn on my LCD screen it's work this is LCD cable fixed properly otherwise your display not came up ok I will connect that button patches and display patches everything and the LCD lights also that side is that that cable also need to connect proper otherwise you LED and lights not came up you must to connect properly the LCD patch this patch handling carefully because this patch easy to break ok now everything is installed once I check with all circuit installed or not ok everything is installed we test now ready to test the power and LCD or is work or not with LCD turn on or not ok the power on ok counter I switch on the power yeah this is working now yeah sir logo also ok no connected cable ok maybe VGA then connected its function will be what ok now close that all ports carefully to close that port because display easy to damage so carefully handle this case I will fix that everything ok 
Okay, I cover that all part. Okay, now we connect the power and turn on the LCD. To connect the VGA, use my another one lap. I connect the power, turn on my LCD. Okay, I turn on. Okay, now guys came, it's working properly, successfully done. This fuse gone fault, that only issue cannot turn on this LCD monitor ok now turn on we connect to now check that VGA video and everything scheme I will connect them my laptop to VGA is working fine I will play to the one video this is everything is running same way yeah it's working same way it's good this working fine thank you for watching like share comment below if you any doubt ping me